Amber Portwood is ready to tell the uncensored version of her life story, including the ups and downs of her mental health battle, in her forthcoming memoir, So, You're Crazy Too? Honestly, this book had to be cut down, the teen mom OG star, 31, exclusively told page 6 of her second literary project, which will be slapped with a warning label upon its February 22nd release, as it's full of explicit details. We fought hard for this warning label. I've read this book now three times, and I can't even believe that I've lived this life. Since making her reality TV debut on MTV's 16 and Pregnant in 2009, Portwood's personal setbacks have been incessantly dissected by internet trolls and heavily covered by the media. While navigating unexpected fame, she powered through the challenges of being a teen mother, grappled with addiction and completed a 17-month prison stint in 2013, painful yet transformative experiences that are re-examined in her tone. But what Portwood is most proud of, she said, is learning to live with five mental illnesses, including bipolar disorder and borderline personality disorder, diagnoses she previously struggled to accept. The anxiety in me. The bipolar, the borderline, the PTSD, all these different things that come together, that's my makeup, but it's not exactly who I am, she said. This is just what I go through and I work through. I've really learned to live happily with major mental illnesses. The Portwood AF founder explained that the title of So, You're Crazy Too? The follow-up to her 2014 book Never Too Late, is her personal reclamation of a label she once loathed. This is the truth of what mental health is. This is mental illness and this is what people call crazy. So, when I say, so, you're crazy too. It's not what we like to hear, she said. And that's why the book is called that. These days, the mom of two, who shares daughter Leah, 13, with ex-fiancé Gary Shirley and son James, 3, with ex-Andrew Glennon, clears her mind with the help of therapy, medication, meditation, sobriety maintenance and other forms of self-care. I go to psychotherapy once a week. I am not playing around here, she said. I put in the work. The college student, who is pursuing a bachelor's degree in psychology and applied behavior analysis and considering going after her doctorate, elaborated, I do everything that I need to, from drawing to writing poetry to reading to educating myself. I'm never going to stop, bettering myself.